Okay, so there was that kind of exposure to hearing a lot about why I should do the gap year, but also I had friends who wanted to do it as well. And that's a critical piece. I can't imagine having done a gap year by myself. There will be some of you who would prefer to do it by yourself. Very independent. You kind of want to test yourself in that way or that is your natural familiar domain. That is your preferred domain. And that's awesome. But if you go overseas by yourself and you do a gap year, meaning you go some, you work part of the year and you go overseas and you do that by yourself, it doesn't mean you do the year by yourself. You don't just like isolate like a hermit. What's the point of doing that? You're going out there to immerse yourself in these worlds and you need to meet people. But if you're someone who likes doing that independently, that's awesome. But it doesn't mean you should go overseas and just not talk to people and just reflect and be in your head the whole time. I don't think that's going to lend itself to an immense amount of growth either. Something that was very important to me was to go with friends, to do it with people. I am naturally quite extroverted. I like being in the company of others. And my general philosophy in life, especially now that I'm a bit older, is that life is just better when you share it with others. Just generally, any experience. You want to be able to look back at things and reminisce with people. If you just do everything by yourself, who are you enjoying those memories with? You're not some island on this world experiencing the world by yourself. You want to experience it with others. That's the whole point. We're all in this together. So when it comes to something like a gap year, an amazing, unique opportunity to go overseas right after you finish the HSC, right after you've exerted yourself to such an extreme degree and you can just kind of reward yourself for that effort or you can just explore the world and explore your curiosities. You want to share that with others most likely. So for me, that was important. And I had a couple of my closest mates who also wanted to do it. And it was actually my friend Rob who came to me, I think it was around year 11. And he said, hey, my brother went to South America for his gap year. And his brother was a few years older. And this is the influence that all the siblings have and parents as well. And you know, a lot of people won't do gap years because their parents say, oh, no one in our family has done a gap year. You don't need to do a gap year. And that's why it's important to hear other perspectives and that's what I'm here to provide. That is going to probably have an influence, but I would say try not to be completely influenced by what your parents say or your siblings say. Think about what you really want. And if you're not ready to go straight into university or straight into a career, which I don't think you should be or have to be or need to be at all because there's no rush, you're only 18 years old, I think you should consider the gap year. 